Hey guys, Brickwizard59 here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're doing yet another episode of custom LEGO Star Wars sets. So for those of you new to this series, basically what I do is I make custom LEGO Star Wars sets using LEGO Digital Designer and Photoshop for the box art. And then I go ahead and upload these photos to Instagram. And of course, every so often, I want to also uh, make videos on those sets. So once I have a certain number of sets made, I just make a video of it on YouTube so every one of my subscribers can see them as well. So uh, this is yet another episode of that series. So basically what we're going to be doing is going through these sets, kind of giving you my thoughts on it as I built it, um, and just kind of talking a bit about it. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Also, just want to let you know, all these sets are made by me. Uh, but anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and take a look at these awesome custom LEGO Star Wars sets. All right, so the first set we have here is the Geonosis Arena Attack. Now, this is a really cool set that I ended up building, one that I'd always wanted to make. And this is definitely one I'm surprised LEGO has not made to this day. So basically what I did here was kind of make a portion of the arena. We got the main entranceway and kind of a couple of the sidewalls. And then we got the three creatures and then a variety of minifigures. Now this would be a great set, $100 to $200 set. Um, and just this would again be something that would have been really cool if they would have released um, for the LEGO Star Wars 20th anniversary. Again, this is a really nice set, has some cool features and kind of great builds and Overall, this was a lot of fun to make, and I uh, definitely hope that in the future, LEGO does release a version of the Geonosis Arena. But anyway, this is my version of it, the Geonosis Arena Attack. And my next custom set is the Battle on Endor. So this is something that, uh, again, uh, a set that really needs to be remade by LEGO. And so I ended up uh, going ahead and kind of building my own version. Now this one is uh, kind of a new design for the bunker based off my custom uh, Battle of Endor mock I made uh, last year. And that's kind of what that's based on. And then we got a updated version of the ATSD as well as of course the kind of radar dish in a bit of a downsized version. Overall this would be a really nice set if LEGO were to make it. Uh, again include a great variety of new exclusive minifigures, maybe give a new updated uh, scout trooper figure for once i think that'd be really cool but again this would be a really cool build uh, again another one that was really fun to make this is the battle on endor next off we have the battle on kashyyyk now this is another awesome set that i'm wondering why lego has not released again the battle of kashyyyk was such an iconic scene and it'd be really cool just to get some sort of larger battle or attack on Hoth, battle on Hoth type of larger set, but for Kashyyyk. So I ended up going ahead and doing that. This is actually a combination of my um, Wookiee Catamaran I'd made earlier, as well as adding a few new aspects uh, like portions of Kashyyyk, of course the uh, Corporate Alliance tank droid, and the spider droid. Now this would be an excellent set, maybe $150.00. And it just included a cool array of minifigures, finally includes some Wookiee Warriors, um, and then just a really cool playset with a ton of cool features, great builds, and this is definitely one I hope LEGO does make in the near future. So this is the battle on Kashyyyk. Next off, we have the Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Pack. This would be a really cool one to release coinciding with that. Uh, but again, this was also a lot of fun to build. Um, overall, this was, again, Basically, the uh, clone turbo tank uh, ATRT, the uh, walker from the clone turbo tank 2016 set, and then of course adding uh, a couple, uh, three of the scout troopers as well as a Wookiee warrior. Again, this would be a great set to have. Uh, definitely, this would be really cool if Lego were ever to release a Battle of Kashyyyk set to release this along with it. Uh, but again, this would be a cool new battle pack, you know, a proper Kashyyyk battle pack with actual figures that were included in that scene. Uh, but this is the Kashyyyk Trooper battle pack. Next off, another cool custom set. This is the Separatist Landing Craft. So this is 
again based on my previous version of the Trade Federation landing craft, except this time it is uh, it is made using the separatist colors instead. And again, this would be a really cool set to have released by Lego. Um, again, there was this one I did based on uh, kind of the Clone Wars episode. I forget its name, but it's the one where Jar Jar Binks impersonates a uh, the Gungan uh, leader. But again, this would be a really cool set to have. Just, you know, a very kind of bit of the more iconic vehicle. We see quite a bit in the Clone Wars, quite a bit in uh, episode one really the Trade Federation version so this would just be a really cool set with some cool many figures um, and I think it would sell really well if it were to be released. Moving along the next set is the Attack on Kashyyyk so this is again going along with my other custom Kashyyyk sets. This basically is a smaller version so what we have here is a updated version of the Wookiee Skimmer a uh, spider droid as well as a couple clones and droids so again this would be a really cool set to have um, just again this is kind of part of my custom set Kashyyyk line so this again includes a nice updated Wookiee skimmer and again this would be a nice 30 to 40 dollar set and includes some really cool minifigures so I definitely hope Lego does release re-release a new Wookiee skimmer it's been a long time and definitely well overdue. So this is the attack on Kashyyyk. Next off, one of my favorite sets. Um, this is the 501st Trooper Battle Pack. We need a new version, and so definitely it'd be really good to get one like this. Perfect. Three 501st clones, and then a clone uh, ATRT driver, or even a scout walker, or a scout walker driver, or a uh, scout trooper, sorry. Um, but anyways, this would be a really cool set to have. Again, this is with the updated box art. So now that we're in 2019, uh, my last couple sets that I made are of the updated box art. So again, this would be a great set. This would sell terrific, perfectly like this. A nice blue ATRT as well as three 501st clones. We need a 501st battle pack and definitely hope LEGO releases one in the near future. So this is my custom 501st battle pack. And finally, my most recent custom LEGO Star Wars set. This is the Wolfpack Gunship. Uh, currently, this is also my most liked post on Instagram. So thank you so much. It has over 3,000 likes. So thank you so much for all the support you've shown on this. Definitely all these sets that I'm showing here all are on my Instagram. So you can check that out. Link in the description. Uh, but anyway, this is the Wolfpack Gunship. And again, we've got a lot of versions of the Republic gunship, but I thought why not change it up and get a bit of a different version of the gunship. And this time we got the Wolfpack gunship, kind of in the new colors, and I think it'd be a really cool time to finally get a Phase 2 Commander Wolf, as well as help build up your Wolfpack army. But again, this is kind of a updated design of the gunship, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. We got some awesome minifigures, so definitely hope LEGO releases some sort of gunship in the near future. So this is the Wolfpack gunship. All right, but anyways, there you go. So there was a look at my custom LEGO Star Wars sets that I've made uh, in the last few months. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. Definitely, if you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be great. And do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. Also, of course, don't forget to check out my Instagram down below for more pics of these sets, including some of the interiors and more details. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is BrickWizard59, and I'll see you all next time.